Vicki here. I'm in the kitchen. Been in the kitchen all day. I'm really kind of a mess. Just got back from taking the dogs on the walk, but I wanted to kind of talk a little bit. Oops, I forgot to grab one thing. Don't know. My kitchen is a total disaster, so I got a ton of dishes to clean up from making. Once again, beautiful, luscious, yummy bagels. Yum! Oh, I love these things. I've only eaten one and I can literally eat two or three and not even care because they're so good. And then I had this, I think I've talked about my sweet maple book that I got, cookbook, and talks about backyard sugar making from table to tap, tap to table. So in here it tells you how you can make sugar, maple sugar. And I was just, I have been wanting to do that since I got this book in my hand. Well, my husband helped me, we did that today. It was kind of a mess, but here's the finished product from um, a quart of maple syrup. Beautiful maple sugar, and I am just so excited to have my own maple sugar because so I try to stay away from white sugar and I use a lot of honey but this I'm excited to have so when I make cookies I can like yeah I want I want some sugar in my cookies instead of always maple or honey so I'm really really thrilled and we kind of went to the process where we boiled it <coughs> boiled it till 250 well, I don't think, I think we made it to 250, maybe 251 Fahrenheit. And then you, um, then you, they say you beat it in a blender food processor. So I had an old Vitamix that I bought at a sale a long time ago in a box with a bunch of other stuff for like six or eight bucks. So I got it out. The only problem with it, it is square on the bottom. So after we kind of had a mess with ours, we went on YouTube and watched all kinds of training. So... Next time I'll do it on the stove, and I'll video, do it live, videotape it so you can all see the process. And we watched several YouTube lives where they just did it right on the stove and just kept stirring. They didn't have to mess. My, my Vitamix was coated on the inside with um, hard maple syrup, so I wasted a ton. And what else? The... I guess it was that and the lid of the Vitamix. It was a big mess. I mean, it, it came cleaned easily, but it's just not the process I want to do if I had. I need a KitchenAid mixer because one guy showed a KitchenAid mixer, but several of the YouTube videos showed him actually just doing small amounts and stirring it on the stove until it became sugar powdered. So this is, um, <clears throat> if you can see, some of them got in bigger hunks, but you just crumble it down, and there you've got your sugar. I just cannot wait to use this, and it lasts forever. There's no storage situations you have to worry about. You put it in a jar, lasts forever. You don't have to worry about spoiling, so I'm thrilled, pumped. So I just want to come on and show you what I, Vicki in the kitchen today, what we accomplished, what I accomplished today. So I've got, um, flank steak and sauerkraut, my homemade sauerkraut in the oven for supper, so yum, I love my sauerkraut, so excited to sit down and rest because I've been busy and i got a mess to clean up, but you all have a very nice day, thank you for joining me, and bye for now.